Hi, everyone. Uh, this is going to be um, a little video to make four snowman head pins. And we're going to do all four at one time. And of course, you don't have to do them all four at one time. But I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to make these little pins, which you can sell for between 8 and $10 each. And let's get started. Now I'm showing you the whole thing. I don't know if I cut anything out, but I made the heads way too big at the beginning here. So I started over and made them a little bit smaller because when you're making pins, you don't want to make them too big and you don't want to make them too heavy. So we're just doing the round heads, but I'm going to be changing those to make them a little bit smaller. See how big they are? Way too big. So, and while we're uh, doing the heads, which I'm going to be changing in a minute, um, I just want to tell you when you glue the pin backs on, and that's the method I use. I know there are other methods where you embed the pin back in the clay. But I glue the pin backs on, and please do not use a glue gun. And I know I've said that before, but uh, a glue gun might not hold. It might, it might not. But why take the chance when just a little bit of super glue will go a long way and not come off? So there you see, I'm making it uh, smaller because I had them too big. And I got to tell you, I'm trying something new with my sound. And I've made like a little sound booth and I'm under my comforter. And I got to tell you, it's hot under here. So I don't know how long I'm going to last under the comforter. And I don't even know if it's making a difference. So, but I think I'm going to just let you guys watch this. And I think you can follow along. It's really easy. Because I've been doing a lot of narration the last few days, and my throat is a little horse. Or a little pony. Now, that was an attempt at humor. That did not work. But anyway. So I did um, an app on my phone where you test... Uh, if you might have COVID-19 and you have to answer these questions. And one of the questions was, you know, what do you have a sore throat? That was one of the things that I said, yes. And then it said, um, one was, have you been around people who have the virus? And one of the answers was, I don't know, because I've been going to stores to get groceries and stuff. So I said, I don't know. And based on those two answers, it told me that I needed to self-isolate for seven days. And I'm like, okay, well, I was wearing my mask in the stores. I did not go near anybody. I have my bottle of hand sanitizer that I carry with me. And my sore throat and this horse <laughs> throat was from talking too much the other day doing seven voiceovers for the stocking video. Oh, that was, that was aggravating. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you guys um, do this one on your own. And I think you're going to do just fine. And I'll see you next time. Or should I wait till the end to say bye? But you guys keep going and watch the rest of it. And if you have questions, of course, always ask in the comments below. And be sure to add blush before you bake. And let's see what else. Yes, bake according to the instructions on the package of clay that you are using. So I'm going to let you do this one on your own. Good luck. I know you can do it. Bye.